War Sovereign Soaring the Heavens, 2761 Recruitment Duan Ling Tian was not stupid. He naturally knew Long Fei Yun intended to obtain a prominent pill cauldron for him by giving up on the Duke Grade Celestial Weapon. Brother Duan, there's still some time before the Wasteland Grand Contest. Don't try to talk me out of it, I've made up my mind. Long Fei Yun shook his head. Then, he turned to Long Dong Peng and said in a clear voice, Father, I've made up my mind to exchange the Duke, Great Celestial Weapon for a prominent Celestial Pill Cauldron. Since you've made up your mind, I'll grant you your wish. Long Dong Peng agreed and did not say anything to dissuade Long Fei Yun since Long Fei Yun had made up his mind. Moreover, he had been quite reluctant to reward this son of his with a Duke Great Celestial Weapon anyway. However, since he had publicly made that promise, he had no choice to reward Long Fei Yun with a Duke Great Celestial Weapon. As an emperor, he could not go back on his words after all. He was naturally more than happy to grant his son's request and swap the Duke Great Celestial Weapon for a prominent Celestial Pill Cauldron. In fact, even if his son had requested for two prominent celestial pill cauldrons, he would still happily obliged. In Long Dong Ping's opinion, although a prominent celestial pill cauldron was valuable, it could not compare to a duke grade celestial weapon. Most importantly, prominent celestial pill cauldrons were just a display in the hands of the Soaring Dragon Celestial Kingdom's imperial family. They had no use for it at all. The Duke Great Celestial Weapon, on the other hand, was a different story. When Long Dong Ping passed down his decree to reward Long Fei Yun with a prominent Celestial Pill Cauldron instead of a Duke Great Celestial Weapon, the crowd in Shurong Palace broke out in a commotion again. Heavens! The 13th Prince really swapped a Duke Great Celestial Weapon for a prominent Celestial Pill Cauldron. I didn't think he was serious. I was certain he would change his mind. Who knew he so determined to swap a Duke Great Celestial Weapon for a prominent Celestial Pill Cauldron? I don't know what he's thinking. The prominent Celestial Pill Cauldron is of no use to him, right? Does he plan to use a prominent Celestial Pill Cauldron to attract a prominent Celestial Alchemist to his service? You really let your imagination run wild, didn't you? What kind of person do you think a prominent celestial alchemist is? How could a prominent celestial alchemist be tempted by a mere prominent celestial pill cauldron? That's true. A prominent celestial alchemist would not be tempted by a mere prominent celestial pill cauldron. Not even a celestial alchemist who has just obtained a prominent celestial fire would be tempted. It's easy for a prominent celestial alchemist to obtain a prominent celestial pill cauldron after all. The people in the main hall of Shurong Palace could not understand Long Fei Yun's actions. They thought he must have lost his mind. No prominent celestial alchemist would be tempted by a prominent celestial pill cauldron. After all, prominent celestial alchemists could easily obtain prominent celestial pill cauldrons. They could easily join any one of the three major sects in the wasteland and become an elder. Why would they covet a prominent celestial pill cauldron when there was an abundance of prominent celestial pill cauldrons in the three major celestial sects? Similarly, Long Shang Hyun and Long Qing Yun thought Long Fei Yun was foolish. I don't understand him at all. How can he be so stupid? Does he think he'll be able to gain father's favor by doing this and obtain father's approval to contend for the throne? Naive. Naturally, Long Shang Hyun and Long Qing Yun had no intention of dissuading Long Fei Yun as well. They were pleased to see Long Fei Yun commit what they thought was a big mistake. Why does he want a prominent celestial pill cauldron? If there was anyone who was clear-headed in the main hall, it was Zhou Shuchu, the third miss of the Zhou clan. She looked at Long Fei Yun skeptically. Based on her understanding of Long Fei Yun, she knew he was not a reckless person and would not make such a foolish mistake. He must have a use for the prominent celestial pill cauldron.
Although she did not know the reason, she was certain Long Fei Yun had a reason for doing this. Long Fei Yun remained unbothered when faced with everyone's skeptical and ridiculing gazes. Naturally, he knew would suffer a loss, but he did not regret it. First, he had promised to help Duan Ling Tian obtain a prominent celestial pill cauldron. Second, by helping Duan Ling Tian, he could further deepen his relationship with Duan Ling Tian. In his opinion, it was far more beneficial for him to have a good relationship with Duan Ling Tian than to possess a Duke-grade celestial weapon. Thirteenth Prince Although Duan Ling Tian knew about Long Fei Yun's intention, he was still moved. As Long Fei Yun said earlier, there was still some time before the Wasteland Grand Contest. It would take a while for him to get his hands on a prominent celestial pill cauldron unless he revealed himself as a prominent celestial alchemist to the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect. Did I choose the longer path? In fact, I don't have to join today's selection or the Wasteland Grand Contest, I can easily join the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect as long as I reveal that I am a prominent celestial alchemist. As long as I ask for it, let alone a prominent celestial pill cauldron, I can probably obtain a Duke-grade martial weapon from the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect as well. WuxiaWorldAudio.com Moreover, even if I don't participate in the Wasteland Grand Contest, I can still fulfill my promise to Brother Pei and enter the small world left by a Celestial King. Duan Ling Tian did not think of this earlier because he did not expect to become a prominent celestial alchemist so soon. In the end, Duan Ling Tian decided to stop dwelling on the matter. Let it be. Since I've chosen to participate in the Wasteland Grand Contest, I'll continue down this path. Meanwhile, I can start refing prominent celestial pills now that I possess a prominent celestial pill cauldron. The selection for the winning mansion continued after the winning prince had been decided. The winning mansion was the Sky Song King's mansion. The representative who helped them win was an indigo sun golden celestial younger than 100 years old even though he was weaker than Feng Wu Ji Guang. The King of Grand Prestige Mansion muttered under his breath, Damn it! If I knew the 13th prince had a hidden trump card, I wouldn't have sent Feng Wu Ji Guang to the 7th prince. Not only did I fail to help him become the winning prince, but I lost the chance to become the winning mansion as well. The King of Grand Prestige Mansion was a middle-aged man with a face full of beard. His expression was as dark as coals at this moment. He had sent Feng Wu Ji Guang to represent the seventh prince to curry favor. Who knew the plan would backfire on him? Not only did he fail to curry favor with the seventh prince and paved the way to the throne for him, but he had also lost the chance of becoming the winning mansion by doing so. How could he not feel gloomy and aggrieved? After the winning prince and winning mansion were chosen, the selection soon ended. Before leaving Shurong Palace, Long Fei Yun handed the prominent celestial pill cauldron to Duan Ling Tian. Thank you, 13th Prince. Duan Ling Tian thanked Long Fei Yun as he put the prominent celestial pill cauldron away. After obtaining the prominent celestial pill cauldron, he no longer wanted to waste time in Shurong Palace. He wanted to return to Long Fei Yun's residence so he could try to refine prominent celestial pills. However, before he could leave, he was stopped by someone. Oh, so you're the reason why the 13th prince gave up a Duke-grade celestial weapon in exchange for a prominent celestial pill cauldron. The person who stopped Duan Ling Tian was none other than Zhou Shuchu, the third miss of the Zhou clan. Duan Ling Tian calmly said, Why are you paying so much attention to me? Do you have the same hobby as your younger sister and intend to bring me back to the Zhou clan or the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect to become your boy toy? DM and you. What nonsense are you spouting? Zhou Shuchu stared at Duan Ling Tian with blushing cheeks. Her indifferent expression had vanished as she glared at him fiercely. After she calmed down, she said, 
do on LinkedIn. I hope you'll consider joining the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect after the Wasteland Grand Contest. She did not beat around the bush and instantly tried to recruit Duan Ling Tian. End chapter. War Sovereign Soaring the Heavens, 2762 The Incident in Sha Clan The moment Zhou Shu Chu spoke, Long Fei Yun, the 13th prince, frowned. He did not expect the junior sister of the current sect leader of the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect would recruit a talent so soon. However, knowing Duan Ling Tian's character, he knew Duan Ling Tian would not go back on his promise. It did not change the fact that he was uncomfortable with her blatantly trying to recruit Duan Ling Tian under his nose. Although he was upset, he did not dare to offend Zhou Shu Chu. I'm not interested, Duan Ling Tian replied calmly. Then, he took Hu Honor's hand and walked past Zhou Shu Chu, leaving Shu Rong Palace before Zhou Shu Chu even had time to react. Long Fei Yun felt smug when he saw this. Naturally, he hid it well. He calmly left Shu Rong Palace with Chu Ling, leaving Zhou Shu Chu standing there with a sour expression on her face. As Zhou Shu Chu looked at Duan Ling Tian's retreating back, she could not help but feel this man could not tell chalk from cheese. Regardless of your plans, I'll make sure you join the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect. After the Wasteland Grand Contest is over, I'll ask my master to come forward and bring you over to our sect even if you choose the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect. In Zhou Shu Chu's opinion, as long as her master, the former sect leader of the Thousand Spiders Celestial Sect, spoke up, the Martial Dragon Celestial Sect would definitely do him a special favor and hand over Duan Ling Tian, the great overarching golden celestial who was younger than 100 years old. Naturally, she was confident because she was unaware that Duan Ling Tian was also a prominent celestial alchemist. Meanwhile, after returning to Long Fei Yun's residence in the Imperial Palace, Duan Ling Tian did not waste any time and began to refine the prominent celestial pill, the weaving overarching pill. However, as the saying went, everything is difficult at the beginning. The process of refining the weaving overarching pill was arduous. After wasting a lot of medicinal ingredients, Duan Ling Tian finally somewhat figured it out. He was not particularly frustrated since he had already expected this. In the past, he could only refine primitive celestial pills. Later on, before he had a chance to refine mediocre celestial pills, the chaos divine flame in his body entered the third form, bringing it to a level comparable to a prominent celestial fire. That was how he became a prominent celestial alchemist. The third form of the Chaos Divine Flame is much stronger than ordinary prominent celestial fires. It heated the cauldron much faster than ordinary prominent celestial fires could. Even the extraordinary prominent celestial fires only possess half the speed of the third form of the Chaos Divine Flame. Duan Ling Tian sat alone on a bed in a quiet room. In front of him, the prominent celestial pill cauldron was suspended in the air with grey flames under it. In Devada realms, celestial alchemists had to heat up cauldrons to refine celestial pills. Before refing pills one need to use celestial fires to heat up the cauldron to the maximum. Based on the speed, one could roughly tell the grade of celestial fires. The heating speed of Duan Ling Tian's Chaos Divine Flame was several times faster than the speed of extraordinary prominent celestial fires. There was an insurmountable difference between them. Even the best prominent celestial fire would be overshadowed by the third form of the Chaos Divine Flame. After I master refing prominent celestial pills, it'd be easy for me to refine the extraordinary prominent celestial pill, the overarching heaven pill. Duan Ling Tian was confident about this. He was delighted. He did not expect the third form of the Chaos Divine Flame to be superior to prominent celestial fires in the Devada realms. But, what's a Chaos Divine Flame? This is only the third form. 
What would it be like when it enters the fourth form, the fifth form, the sixth form, or the seventh form in the future? How powerful would it be? Duan Ling Tian inhaled sharply when he thought about this. There's also the profound divine metal. It seems to have some similarities with the chaos divine flame. The profound divine metal in my body seems to be in the second form. Previously, I thought the profound divine metal's only function was to protect my soul and make it invulnerable to soul attacks. Duan Ling Tian, naturally, thought about the defective metal piece, the profound divine metal, near his soul when he thought about the chaos divine flame. The profound divine metal is the product of the fusion of what was given to me by Kea's third uncle, Sha Jia, and the weird stone I found in my hometown on the cloud continent. After a moment, realization dawned on Duan Ling Tian. Wait, the second form of the profound divine metal. Is it possible that the weird stone in my hometown and the thing Sha Jia gave me are each the first form of a profound divine metal? The idea excited him. However, he was not 100% sure. Duan Ling Tian was unaware that he had hit the nail on the head. The thing Sha Ji gave him in the stone he found in his hometown in the mundane realm were first form profound divine metals. When they merged, they became the second form of the profound divine metal. While Duan Ling Tian was focused on refing pills, trouble was brewing on the horizon in the divine offering land. The Sha clan was the strongest force in the divine offering land. Therefore, the clan's territory was extremely vast. Under normal circumstances, the Sha clan's territory was usually peaceful. However, today, dark clouds that loomed over thousands of miles in the Sha clan's territory had suddenly appeared. The clouds obscured the sky, plunging the Sha clan's territory into endless darkness in just an instant. At this moment, a thunderous voice rang in the air. Who dares to stir up trouble in the Sha clan? With that, a Xing blade appeared and rose into the sky. Swoosh! The blade was gigantic. As soon as it appeared, it dispersed the dark clouds, bringing light back to the Sha clan's territory. The people from the Sha clan were relieved when they saw this. The patriarch has taken action. I wonder who's the intruder. I don't think the intruder is from the Divine Offering Land. If they're not from the Divine Offering Land, then, they must be the powerhouses from the parallel realms that have conflicts with our Divine Offering Land. HMPH No matter what grudges the intruder has with the Shaw Clan, he'll definitely lose a layer of skin even if doesn't die now that the Patriarch has made a move. It's hard to say. Since the person dares to openly provoke the Sha clan, it means that he's not afraid of the patriarch. WuxiaWorldAudio.com While the members of the Sha clan discussed among themselves the dark clouds that were just dispersed gathered at lightning speed plunging the territory of the Sha clan into darkness again. Reveal yourself. The thunderous and rough voice sounded again. A hint of anger could be heard in the tone. A sharp but hoarse voice rang in the air in response. Patriarch of the Shah family, do you remember how you wronged me back then? The sound wave rolled out and killed many members of the Shah clan with a weak cultivation base. Even those with an average cultivation base were injured. Meanwhile, the stronger members were focused on resisting the sound wave. You're K1 Jun? The thunderous and rough voice sounded again. It was clear the owner of the voice was thoroughly infuriated now. Another bright and flaming blade rose into the sky. It was clearly much stronger than the previous blade. After dispersing the dark clouds, it slashed in all directions like a frenzied beast. At the same time, in a vast mansion at a remote corner of the Shocklands territory, many figures appeared and assembled in just a blink of an eye. An elderly man in grey robes cried out with a dark expression on his face. This is bad. The people whom the Patriarch has ordered to be imprisoned are all gone. The Patriarch specially asked us to be extra careful while guarding these people. And now, they're all gone. If the Patriarch knows about this, we're done for. What the hell is going on? Is it possible that the intruder released them? Impossible. 
these are mere mortals from the mundane real me. How could they have connections to such powerful people? And, didn't you hear? The patriarch addressed the intruder as K1 Jun. K1 Jun? The name sounds familiar. K1 Jun. Isn't that the fifth strongest powerhouse in the sanctioned land, the realm created by strong powerhouses, that's parallel to our divine offering land? W. Why did he come to the divine offering land? Dot 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 dot. At this moment, a sloppy figure appeared in a place far from the Shocklands territory. I rescued all of them. If Sha'er knows about this, she'll definitely be relieved. End chapter. War Sovereign Soaring the Heavens, 2763 Key. They're in the realm battlefield. If Duin Ling Shlan were here, he would definitely recognize the sloppy figure. It was none other than Chia Ji, Ke's third uncle in her previous left, whom he had met in the mundane realm. Everyone, the spatial passage between the Divine Offering Land and the Devata Realm has been closed so I can't personally send you back. However, with my strength, I can still open a passage in a Devata Realm that leads to the mundane realms. The passage can only accommodate those weaker than a great overarching golden celestial. I'll open the passage for you now. You may encounter black holes, but with my ability, I can still safely send you to the mundane realms. As for which mundane realm you would be sent to, that's not within my control. I'm in a hurry to send you away because I'm worried my elder brother will discover your whereabouts after he deals with the powerhouse from the sanction land. As long as you remain in the divine offering land, you won't be able to hide from my elder brother. Chia Ji looked at an exquisite palace-shaped stamp seal in his hand. He spoke to the stamp seal as though it could understand him. Then, he raised his hand and moved him across the air horizontally. Suddenly, rip, in the void, a passage leading to God knows where it appeared. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Chia Ji shook his hand that was holding onto the stamp seal. Suddenly, a group of people flew out of the stamp seal. Their figures grew from small to normal size in just a blink of an eye. As soon as these people appeared, they were shrouded in a layer of mysterious light. Then, they entered the tear in the void and disappeared. If Du and Ling Tian were here, he would definitely recognize these people. They were his father, Du and Ru Feng, his mother. Li Ro, his wife, Li Fei, his son, Duan Nian Tian, his daughter, Duan Si Ling, Han Zhu Nai whom he regarded as his sister, his senior brother, Bai Li Hong, his father-in-law, Feng Wu Dao, and a few others. These people, without exception, were all imprisoned by the Yun King Yan, the young master of the Yun clan in the Divine Offering Land, so that he could threaten care to return to Divine Offering Land with him. They were all Dun Ling Tian's family and friends. Previously, after Yun King Yan brought them back to the Divine Offering Land, they were taken and imprisoned by the Patriarch of the Chia clan. The patriarch of the Chia clan was also Ker's father in her previous life. He had planned to use these people to threaten Ker into marrying Yun King Yan. However, due to the conflict between the Divine Offering Land and the other realms created by strong powerhouses, and the opening of the realm battlefield for 1,000 years that caused the closing of the passages that lead to Devata realms, he had no choice but to postpone the marriage. Care was unwilling to submit a fate and wanted to gain the strength to change her destiny after 1,000 years. For this reason, she ignored Chia Ji's advice and decided to enter the perilous realm battlefield. Without these people around, Things will be easier for Zuer in the future. Well, that's if she's able to come out of the battlefield alive. Chia Ji sighed after the last person entered the spatial tear. As the spatial tear began to close, he put the stamp seal away. 
The stamp seal in Chiaji's hand was an emperor-grade celestial weapon that was similar to the seven treasures exquisite pagoda. Both of them could accommodate living beings. I only managed to save them thanks to the distraction from Ki Wanjun of the Sanction Land. If he didn't come to the Chia clan, I wouldn't have the opportunity to rescue them and send them away from the Divine Offering Land. Chia Ji knew very well if it were not for Ki Wanjun distracting his elder brother, he would not have been able to rescue the imprisoned people. Soon after, Chia Ji vanished into thin air, returning to the Chia clan's territory. A powerful enemy was attacking the Chia clan after all. As a member of the Chia clan, he could not just stay idle and watch. After entering the spatial passage, Duan Ru Feng, Li Ro, Li Fei, Duan Nai and Tian, Duan Si Ling, and others traveled through the passage easily thanks to Chia Ji's help. Originally, they were supposed to be sent to the same mundane realm. Even Chia Ji was sure of it. However, unexpectedly, when Duan Ru Feng and the others were traveling, a rare turbulent storm occurred. For this reason, Duan Ru Feng and others were split into several groups and sent to different mundane realms. Fortunately, due to the protection from Chia Ji's power, all of them safely entered the mundane realms. Duin Ling Tian and Ke were, naturally, unaware of all these things. In the realm battlefield, the realm battlefield would open every 10,000 years and would stay open for 1,000 years. It could be considered as a hub that connected several parallel realms on the same level as the Divine Offering Land. The people in Divine Offering Land who wanted to go to other parallel realms or people from other realms who wanted to travel to the Divine Offering Land need to pass through the realm battlefield. Ki Wang Jun, the man from the Ki Clan in Sanction Land, who had gone to the Chia Clan had to pass through the realm battlefield as well to come to the Divine Offering Land. At this moment, many people from different realms were fighting. Before entering the realm battlefield, each person would be issued a token before they entered. People with different cultivation bases were given different tokens, and the tokens showed which realm they were from. In the realm battlefield people from the same realm would not kill each other unless they had personal grudges. WushaWorldAudio.com this was because when one killed someone from the same realm, when the defeated person's token merged with the winner's token, the winner would not obtain any battle points. One could only gain battle points by killing people from other realms. The battle points that were given depended on the level of the token. Killing a person with the high cultivation base would give one more battle points. If one had 100 battle points and killed another person with the same cultivation base one would only gain 100 battle points. There were also secret zones in the realm battlefield that contained various treasures. One would need battle points to enter a secret zone. Secret zones that contained valuable and precious treasures and legacies required more battle points for entry. Due to all these reasons, the people who entered the realm battlefield would desperately fight and kill people from other realms, stealing their points, so they could enter the secret zones once they had enough battle points. The secret zones in the realm battlefield were said to be left by the immensely strong powerhouses who created the realms. The treasures and legacies in the secret zones could be life-changing. Therefore, there was no shortage of people entering the dangerous battlefield to try their luck. As the saying went, nothing ventured, nothing gained. In a corner of the realm battlefield, a loud explosion rang in the air. A beautiful figure raised her hand and seriously injured a young man. When the opponent was on the verge of death, she dealt a fatal blow to him. Swoosh! After the young man died, a light blue token flew out from his body and merged with the token in the beautiful woman's hand. The pale grey light from her token seemed to darken slightly after it had merged with the young man's token. Tokens with grey lights indicated that one was from the Divine Offering Land. 
On the other hand, tokens with blue light represented people from the sanction land. I still don't have enough battle points. What I have now isn't even enough to grant the access into a low-level secret zone. The woman who was as beautiful as a fairy was dressed in a white robe. She sighed as she looked at the token that was shrouded in grey light. She seemed to recall something as her eyes were filled with longing. I wonder how's brother Ling Tian. Has he already ascended to a Devata realm? This woman was none other than Care. Since Care had entered the realm battlefield, she had been wandering around. Since her strength had not returned to the level in her previous life, she could only proceed with caution. Even so, she had encountered many life-or-death situations in the short time since she entered the realm battlefield. However, she did not regret coming to this perilous place. I should go now. I hope my next target will give me more battle points. End chapter War Sovereign Soaring the Heavens, 2764 Gold Medal Killer, Celestial Duke In Long Feiyun's residence in the Imperial Palace of the Soaring Dragon Celestial Kingdom in the Wasteland of Spirit Overarching Heaven. I've successfully refined it. A burst of laughter rang from a room in a guest courtyard. However, due to the noise-cancelling formation, the laughter was contained within the room. The person who laughed was a purple-clad young man who was currently sitting on a bed. The purple-clad young man raised his hand and put away the pill cauldron that was suspended in the air. After that, he opened his hand, revealing three dark green celestial pills in the center of his palm. The dark green celestial pills were shrouded by a thin green mist. Fortunately, I refined many prominent celestial pills before this. Otherwise, I won't be able to successfully refine these overarching heaven pills. The purple-clad young man was none other than Duan Ling Qian. After returning from Zhu Rong Palace, he had dedicated his time to refing pills. He had begun with refing simple prominent celestial pills such as the weaving overarching pill. Since its ingredients were common, and the process was simpler, he had decided to practice by refing weaving overarching celestial pills. Naturally, it took him a while before he successfully mastered refing the weaving overarching pill. The first time he succeeded, he only managed to refine two weaving overarching pills. Although the success rate was quite low, he continued to patiently refine weaving overarching pills. After that, he continued to practice by refing other prominent celestial pills with common ingredients that were slightly more difficult to refine. Then, he progressed to refing more difficult to refine prominent celestial pills. From there, he gained a lot of experience. When Duin Ling Tian was more confident, he asked Long Fei Yun to help him obtain the ingredients needed to refine the prominent celestial pill, the overarching heaven pill. It took Long Fei Yun a long time and a lot of effort to collect ingredients just enough to refine one overarching heaven pill. If the refing failed, Duin Ling Tian would have to wait before he could refine the overarching heaven pills again. After all, the ingredients to refine the overarching heaven pills were very rare and difficult to find in the wasteland, let alone the soaring dragon celestial kingdom. The three major celestial sects of the wasteland monopolize most of the ingredients need to refine the overarching heaven pills in the wasteland. Needless to say, it would be nigh impossible to obtain the ingredients from the three major celestial sects. Although the success rate of forming a pill is a little lower, I'm quite satisfied. After all, this is my first time refing the overarching heaven celestial pill. The fact that I managed to refine three pills can be considered a great feat. Duin Ling Tian got up from the bed and left the room to look for Huan Air with the three overarching heaven pills in hand. I'll let Huan Air try an overarching heaven pill. 
Let's see if the medicinal efficacy of the pill would have any effect on her. Since she's an earth rank overarching heaven supreme celestial, logically, the pill would be useful to her. The pills would be useless to heaven rank overarching heaven supreme celestials. When Duin Ling Tian walked to the backyard, he discovered Huan Air er was not cultivating in her room. Instead, she was in the backyard, trying to master her celestial methods and divine abilities. Although Huan Air er was concentrating on comprehending her celestial methods and divine abilities, she instantly noticed Duin Ling Tian as soon as he arrived. She stopped what she was doing and greeted him excitedly. Brother Ling Tian, Brother Ling Tian, did you manage to refine the prominent celestial pill, the overarching heaven pill? She knew he was focused on refing the prominent celestial pill, the overarching heaven pill, over the past few days. Faced with the expectant expression on who an air face do in Ling Tian side. When she heard him sigh, she assumed he had failed to refine overarching heaven pill. For this reason, she quickly consoled him. She confidently said, Brother Ling Tian, it's okay if you fail. After all, everyone knows it's difficult to refine overarching heaven pills. Although you failed this time, you can always try again. I'm sure you'll be able to successfully refine them in the future. Who an air, look at this. Duin Ling Tian shook his head and smiled. He stopped teasing her and revealed the three overarching heaven pills in his hand. This is the overarching heaven pills. Huina's eyes lit up when she saw the overarching heaven pills. She was no longer ignorant like before. During her time in the Soaring Dragon Celestial Kingdom, she had used many memory celestial talismans sent by Long Fei Yun in her spare time. There were all kinds of information recorded in the memory celestial talismans. From the memory celestial talismans, she had learned about the prominent celestial pill, the overarching heaven pill. As well, for this reason, she recognized the pills as soon as Duin Ling Tian showed them to her. Yes, Duin Ling Tian smiled and nodded. However, this is the first time I refined the overarching heaven pills so the success rate of forming these pills is a little low. I only managed to refine three. Before Huan Air er could respond, a voice rang from the sky. You refined overarching heaven pills. The duo's expressions darkened immediately. Who's there? Who is it? WushaWorldAudio.com both of them simultaneously looked in the direction where the voice came from. Swoosh! In the sky by their courtyard, a black ghost-like figure could be seen. It was a man dressed in black robes with golden trimmings. His body was burly. At this moment, he was slowly descending from the sky. After a while, he finally landed in front of Dun Ling Tian and Huan Air. His face was hidden by a golden mask. Apart from that, a golden token with the word kill could be seen hanging from his waist. The token was stained with red dye in such a way that it looked like blood was dripping from the token. A gold medal assassin, Duin Ling Tian's expression changed drastically when he saw the man's clothes and gold token. Huina's expression changed as well. Duin Ling Tian knew about black market assassins in the three cities controlled by the three major celestial sects of the wasteland. Black market assassins were divided into gold medal assassins, silver medal assassins, and bronze medal assassins. Bronze medal assassins were the weakest among the three. They comprised of great overarching golden celestials, and the strongest among them was only a peak great overarching golden celestial. Silver medal assassins were all heaven rank overarching heavenly supreme celestials. The strongest was a peak heaven rank overarching heavenly supreme celestial. Finally, there were only a few gold medal assassins. All of them were celestial dukes. Duin Ling Tian and Huan Air er had learned about black market assassins in the wasteland through a memory celestial talisman. 
therefore, they recognized the clothes of a black market assassin. There was a possibility that the man before them was just an imposter, but Duin Ling Tian and Huan Er did not think it was likely. After all, if the person was not a celestial duke, he would not have been able to easily infiltrate the imperial palace of the Soaring Dragon Celestial Kingdom since the palace was constantly guarded by a peak overarching heavenly supreme celestial, who shrouded the palace with his divine consciousness. You know I'm a gold medal assassin? It seems like you know quite a fair bit about black market assassins. The burly man dressed in a black robe with gold trimmings looked at Yuan Ling Tian before his eyes fell on Huan Air. Er. At this moment, Huan Air er was not wearing her veil and hat. Her appearance and figure were fully on display. The burly man was stunned by her beauty as his eyes brightened. What a perfect woman. What a pity that I'm not interested in females. Otherwise, I would bring you away with me. After saying that, he looked away, clearly uninterested as though he lived an ascetic life like a monk. You're really a gold medal assassin. Duan Ling Tian felt his heart skip a beat. He looked at the burly man solemnly and asked in a low voice. Is your target both of us? My target is her. The gold medal assassin looked at Duan Ling Tian as he pointed at Huan Air. Er. Duin Ling Tian's expression changed immediately. Then, he instinctively moved to stand in front of Huan Air, er, shielding her as he stared at the gold medal assassin warily. Upon seeing this, the gold medal assassin scoffed. Do you really think you can stop me from killing her? End chapter. War Sovereign Soaring the Heavens, 2765 Tai Yi Celestial Sex Left Guardian Do you really think you can stop me from killing her? The gold medal assassin sneered as a powerful surge toward Duan Ling Tian like a flood and landed squarely on his chest. Boom! Duan Ling Tian staggered a few steps back before spitting out a mouthful of blood spurted, looking miserable. Huan Air, who was being shielded by Dun Ling Tian, cried out, Brother Ling Tian. Her expression darkened, and her beautiful limpid eyes turned cold. A cold energy rippled out of her body into the surroundings. In just an instant, the entire backyard seemed to turn silver due to the frost. Huan Air. Upon seeing Huan As anger, Duan Ling Tian took two steps to her. He reached out and held her slightly raised hand. You are not his opponent. His expression was grave and his emotions were turbulent as he looked at the gold medal assassin. My current cultivation base is much stronger. Even the Celestial Duke from the Compassionate Celestial Traveler sect wouldn't be able to reduce me to this state with her aura alone. Moreover, this person had withdrawn his aura at the last second. Otherwise, I would have been in an even more wretched state. Duin Ling Tian knew the gold medal assassin had shown mercy. Based on this, he could tell the gold medal assassin was even stronger than the Celestial Duke from the compassionate Celestial Traveler sect whom he had met in King Chin's mansion in Cloudy Rock Celestial Kingdom. Rumor has it that 90% of the powerful gold medal assassins are the high-ranking officials from the three major celestial sects of the Wasteland. They're doing it for the money. Duan Ling Tian also knew the gold medal assassin in front of him was from one of the three major celestial sects of the Wasteland. Moreover, based on the gold medal assassin's strength, his position in the sect had to be high as well. At this point, Duan Ling Tian further guessed that the gold medal killer in front of him was a high-ranking official in one of the three major celestial sects of the Wasteland. Something's not right. After a while, Duan Ling Tian discovered something was amiss. It seems like he has no intention of harming Huan Er. He's targeting me. To be precise, he seems to be targeting the three overarching heaven pills in my hand. With these thoughts in mind, he heaved a sigh of relief, and his expression eased. 
After regaining his composure, he asked the gold medal assassin, Since you have no intention of killing who an heir, what do you want? You're very smart. The gold medal assassin looked at Juin Ling Tian indifferently. As long as you promise me one thing, I won't kill this girl. If you promise me this, I'll protect her from all the black market assassins. I'll even kill the person who put a bounty on her and destroy his whole family. His tone was casual as though he was talking about the weather. What is it? Duin Ling Tian asked even though he had a vague idea of what the gold medal assassin wanted. If he was right in his assumption that the person in front of him was from one of the three major celestial sects of the wasteland and had a high position in the sect, the person must want him to join his sect after discovering he was a prominent celestial alchemist who could refine overarching heaven pills. The gold medal assassin stared at Dun Ling Tian and bluntly said, Join the Tai Yi Celestial Sect. Tai Yi Celestial Sect. Duin Ling Tian was taken aback upon hearing this even though he had prepared himself for it. He looked at the gold medal assassin and said, So you're a member of the Tai Yi Celestial Sect. With your strength, your position is definitely not low. What position do you hold in the Tai Yi Celestial Sect? You're very smart, the gold medal killer said calmly. However, there's no need for you to know what position I hold or who I am. People who know about it, generally, don't have a good ending. Killing intent flashed in his eyes as he spoke. What if I disagree? Duin Ling Tian asked. You're smart so you should know. The gold medal assassin's eyes narrowed and his tone was dark. It was clear he would kill Duin Ling Tian if Duin Ling Tian disagreed. If you're sincere about recruiting me, please take off your mask and talk to me. Duin Ling Tian said calmly. Take off the mask. The gold medal killer's eyes swept.